strange sitting like this, but I guess it's the beginning. Everybody, I just arrived to the campsite and I'm so excited to start this journey. First, let's set up the tent and then go for a little country walk. just had dinner and it was an amazing um, meal that is cooked on the fire it was so good and the fire cooked vegetables as well were so delicious um, and now it's just like it got dark really quick thankfully it doesn't get usually dark too quick in the summer in the UK so it was like 8 30 when it started getting dark but now it's nine and it's like pitch black except for like the light on my face and the fire it's really good. Gonna have some marshmallows and chocolate biscuits because you know they're a must. Do some reading and hopefully have another good day tomorrow. Although it's supposed to rain tomorrow. So we'll see how we're gonna cope with the rain. The view that I woke up to. I thought I slept really well. Um, except for like moving and just making sounds. Every time I moved, it was a bit annoying. Listen to this. It felt like I was rustling with all of this fabric, so I didn't move as much. But I slept really deeply and slept quite a lot, like from 11 to 8. The only thing that woke me up was the crows, and that's kind of the same reason I wake up in London anyway.
Although it's drizzling, under the trees it's not too bad. Like they're shielding us from the rain. In this cute one then. This is the pub and it has two parts to it. This L shape is the new part and then the one with the slanted roof is 500 years old. It's really old and lovely inside. Lunch was really nice. They had a few good vegetarian options. They messed up the order but then they corrected it. It was all great. Um, and it was great to sit in the warmth for two hours heading back to the campsite now and let's hope that the tent is not drenched because it's been raining for three hours and it will be raining for another five so this is the same stream from yesterday and look at it move and all the raindrops in there but I love walking through the forest or the woods because you're shielded from the rain a bit. The sheep don't seem to mind the rain. They're just chilling, eating, exactly like what they were doing yesterday. Okay, made it back to the tent and it seems okay-ish. Like it's raining on top of it, but it doesn't seem wet and this is how it sounds when it's raining inside outside and you're inside the tent it's still raining strong after four hours of and it's still raining strong since 11 this morning and now it's about six o'clock hopefully this is the last of it but as you can see the haze in the distance everything is wet and I'm just sat in the tent reading and just hoping the rain will finish so we can do some fire tonight. Seven hours later and it's still raining and things are getting quite wet. I'm hoping it finishes in the next hour so we could start the fire. Okay, everything is packed up and oh my god, this weekend went by super quickly. It just like two nights of camping and just like three days, well half day the first day, half day the last day and like a full day. Sadly our full day was full of rain but it was still an adventure and I think Camping is so much better than I expected. The bathrooms were fine. Everything was good and manageable. I was so proud of myself and all the people who helped me through this experience. And I hope you enjoyed it as well. So don't forget to share, like, subscribe. And now let's go back to London. Mm -hmm.